Hello, everyone out there. Welcome to another edition of Casa e Cucina. We're down here at John Viviano and Son Grocers at 5139 Shaw Avenue. And I'm standing here with none other than Mr. Giovanni or John Viviano Jr. How you doing today, John? Fine. Thank you, Keith. Fine. Hey, what are we folks do out there today? Oh, we're going to go through a process of learning about some cheeses. Getting, cheeses. Getting for people, yeah, getting people educated on some cheeses. Oh, that sounds like a great a great time, great show, great, oh, yeah. a lot of music on today's show, and a very special guest. Who's bit. that? Sister Felicetta. Oh, what a fine lady. Yeah. What a fine lady. Well, anyway, Io sono Quito Valentino and Cuesta e Giovanni Viviano Jr. e Cuesta e Casa e Cucina. Sit back and enjoy a great Italian-American. Siamo una bella voce Gente delle anni Una bella voce Siamo una bella voce Gente delle anni Lavoriamo, mangiamo, beviamo, cantiamo Belliamo, festeggiamo Insieme una bella voce Siamo una bella voce Let's go talk about those cheeses. Let's go talk about cheeses. All right, let's go. Right. Now we're going to talk about cheeses today, John. Let's go. Let's get right down into the, the formaggio. This is it. This, this is it, huh? What we got here? This is uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. That, now this is one of your your best sellers. Right this is here. the best seller we have. Reggiano Parmigiano. Now what's the difference between this Reggiano Parmigiano and the domestic? Well, this Parmigiano here is of course imported from Italy. It's a minimum of four years. It has a four-year process that it a drying process uh, where the domestic cheese has uh, anywhere from 12 to 18 months of aging. Uh, therefore, it's a younger cheese. This is a sharper cheese. Uh, it almost has a little bit of a sweetness to it in the aftertaste. So, now, this is shipped to you from Italy. Oh, yes. From Italy, exactly. From Italy. From Parma. From Parma, which is known for the Reggiano Parmigiano. Right, exactly. And it's got the, uh, the uh, wax. Wax coating. Uh, actually, this is a fermentation uh, process that it gives it this coating of this type of cheese. But uh, we'll cut into it and take a look at it. That's quite a process, isn't oh, it? Cutting it. Yes, very much so. Uh, you have to first. You have to heat a knife, basically, in a hot water, and uh, get it nice and warm. So this way, we can cut this cheese. Otherwise, it, it'd be a harder process if you didn't use a warm knife cutting it. So what, do you cut right through it or do you cut halfway down then turn it over and cut the other way? Or well, I cut straight down first to one side then I turn the wheel around and cut the other half and then I quarter it. Well, let's, then, let's do that. Okay, sounds good. Let's do it. Thank you. 
four years in aging. This cheese is going to be cut open for the first time in four years. Can you believe that? <laughs> what, you, what we're trying to do is cut it a straight cut, but it doesn't always work that way. But well, let's open it up and there it is. Hey, look at the texture of that. That's it. Now, Jenna, let me ask you why we got this open here. You know, a lot of times you come into the store thinking, ooh. That's it. And John, one, one of the questions I have, in particular about this cheese here, you can't just, you, you cut it, you wrap it, and you take it home, and you put it in your ice box. Mm -hmm. What's the best way to keep this cheese moist? Moist. Oh, there's one of two ways keeping this cheese. First of all, I would suggest uh, if you're not going to use it on a, on a regular basis, you're going to use it when special guests come over. Uh, holidays or whatever at the time uh, you want to keep it in the freezer freezing it will prolong the life of the cheese uh, and keep it uh, otherwise if you're going to use it on a, on a basis where you use it on every day or every other day or something like that what you want to do is uh, what you want to do is you want to take uh, a regular cheese cloth or any type of cloth uh, dampen it and wrap warm water or Warm water, warm water it was good. Just take the piece of cheese and just wrap the cheese in the cloth, keeping it moist and wet. This is this way it allows you to grade the cheese a lot easier. Uh, when you cut it like this and it sits out for a while, it has a tendency of drying. But to rejuvenate the, the cheese, you wrap it in the cheesecloth or any type of cloth, a dampened cloth, and it will bring the natural oils of the cheese out to the surface of the cheese, therefore allowing you to grade a lot easier. Now, the Reggiano Parmigiano, my, one of my favorite cheeses is the Locatelli Pecorino Romano cheese. Mm -hmm. Very good cheese. Oh, man, I, that's my favorite cheese. I'm telling you, folks, I've been eating this cheese all my life. You get a hunk of this cheese, if you're feeling a little bit down or you need a little bit of energy, I don't know why it is. I don't know if it's the sodium in it or the salt. But I've been eating it all my life, and I feel like I'm coming down with the flu. A good hunk of Locatelli Romano cheese may have put you right back on track. It, it works for me, John. I, <laughs> I had to share that with everybody.